12 most fascinating man-made islands. But first, thanks for leaving us this comment on our 10 Strange Things That Could Save Your Life video. Let us know which island is your favorite and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 12, The World Islands. Dubai seems to be making dreams come to reality when it comes to architecture and land development. They are determined to become the number one tourist attraction in the world. That certainly seems to be the case when it comes to the World Islands located off the coast of Jumeirah. 300 man-made islands represents countries and states all across the world and is visible from space. Located in the Persian Gulf, the World Islands are mainly made of sand and was financed by a group of ambitious investors. This appeals to real estate owners who want to own a little piece of their own world and have their own private island not far from Dubai. Much of the islands are currently uninhabited, making some people believe that this project was a failure. Sooner or later, this archipelago will become much more inhabited and an unbelievable tourist destination. Number 11. Danube Island, Austria Located in the middle of the Danube River, the Austrians built a man-made island which is home to clubs, bars, restaurants, and even a popular music festival. This was originally built in order to protect Vienna from flooding during the 1970s. There are close to 2 million trees and bushes that were planted here. It attracts many visitors who want to see some more modern creations and parks in this historic town. Number 10. The Venetian Islands These are the man-made islands in Miami's Biscayne Bay, not to be confused with the islands in Venice. The islands were constructed to house the world's rich and famous and is now one of the world's most sought after real estate. Almost every island is named after somewhere famous in Venice like San Marco Island, Rivo Alto Island, San Marino Island, just to name a few. It houses a large amount of wealthy foreign-born residents. The set of islands also helped the construction of the Venetian Way Bridge, which connects Miami Beach with Miami. One of the more populated islands is known as Belle Isle, which is the closest to Miami Beach and home to many high-rise condos. Number 9. Tokyo's Disneyland In case you didn't know, Japan has their own happiest place on Earth in Tokyo, and this is set on a man-made island. This is one of the biggest tourist attractions in Japan and is the first ever Disney-themed amusement park built outside the United States. The resort island has five-star hotels within its boundaries and many attractions are similar to the Disneyland we know of in Anaheim, California. The Japanese architects who designed this amusement park visited California's attraction and it heavily influenced their decision making. The final cost of the project was 180 billion yen, which is well over their initial budget. Number 8. Pieberholm, Denmark Man is truly capable of completely changing landscapes without it harming wildlife. With advancements in artificial islands, they can aid us in remarkable feats of engineering. This bridge is capable of connecting two countries, Denmark and Sweden. This feat was accomplished partially due to the construction of the Pieberholm Island. The tunnel was basically constructed so that ships can cross through this stretch of water without having to worry about striking the bridge. This unique piece of island has an ecosystem like no other, with 454 species of plants and 8 to 10 species of birds that choose to live on this location. Number 7. Our Lady of the Rocks Located right off the coast of the Bay of Kotor, Our Lady of the Rocks is constructed on a small artificial island created by sunken boats that are loaded with rocks. This is the Adriatic Sea only artificial island making it a fascinating place. Surrounded by beautiful landscapes, it's one of Montenegro's most famous places for tourists. It houses 68 oil paintings and also 2,500 gold and silver tablets. For about 3 euros, travelers can take a boat that travels from the city of Paras to the island. What makes this island even more unique is that it was constructed during the 15th century and the church that sits on it was built in 1632. Number 6. Ile aux Cygnes. This small artificial island is located on the River Seine in Paris and was created in 1827 in order to protect the port of Grenelle. It's uninhabited for the most part except for this replica of Lady Liberty that stands about 70 feet tall facing the direction of her much larger sister in New York City. It was originally facing the direction of the Eiffel Tower but it was later on moved during the World Fair in 1937. The island serves as an important crossway from three bridges connecting to the northern and southern parts of Paris. Number 5. Nanhai Per Island This artificial island located off the coast of Holiday Beach in China is currently under construction and will be an enormous tourist attraction with hotels, shipyards, cruise ships, and a theme park. It currently has one bridge that connects it to the mainland to the city of Hainan. China has become notorious lately with their construction of artificial islands. 
They caused some controversy when they began constructing many islands, then militarizing them, and turning them into air bases and fortresses. But this one here is supposed to be for touristic purposes. Construction began in April 2016, and it consists of a round, crescent-shaped body, and somewhat seems like a response to Dubai's artificial islands. Number 4. Islands of Euros The Euros people of Peru live very simple lives floating on artificial islands. These islands are actually made of reeds that grow on the edges of Lake Titicaca. These reeds are harvested, bundled tightly, and small settlements are built on top of them. The purpose of the island settlements were originally for defensive purposes, and if they came into threats from invading tribes, they could simply move their homes on this island. Each island houses anywhere from 2 to 10 families, depending on the size. Local residents enjoy a variety of different resources that Lake Titicaca provides, including a large variety of fish, birds such as flamingos, and even cattle that graze on their islands. Simply fascinating. Number 3. Palm Jumeirah How would you feel about living on an extremely large man-made island in the Persian Gulf? Sounds like it could be intriguing, but instead of taking the shape of the world, these cluster of islands are shaped like a palm tree and are much more utilized than its neighboring chain of islands. This is home to the luxurious Palm Atlantis Hotel, which began construction in 2001. This adds an extra 40 miles to Dubai's coastline and was built with over 7 million tons of stone. They kept the nearby ecosystem in mind and used natural rock to encourage natural reef creation by the sea life. Number 2. Fila Fushi Maldives The Maldives are known for being an excellent resort country in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Its beautiful beaches are flocked to by millions of tourists each year. One of its least popular islands, however, isn't really natural. The Fila Fushi Island is built on top of reclaimed coral reefs in 1992, not to house a five-star resort, but to house the garbage left by tourists and locals alike. It was built as a landfill and given the nickname Garbage Island. In 2005, it's estimated that 31,000 truckloads of garbage were transported to this island, and it continues to grow each year. The BBC even described the waste on the island as apocalyptic. And number one, Chinese War Islands. In recent years, it's been China's goal to beef up their military presence, especially in the South China Sea, where these islands are located. They're building islands here on international waters at an exponential rate, and there seems to be no end in sight. The US Navy and rival Asian counterparts dispute these practices as being aggressive and unnecessary. This guarantees that tension in this area will continue to rise, especially as Vietnam, Australia, and the Philippines don't appreciate this one bit. Just because it's called the China Sea doesn't make it theirs. It's a crucial trade route with more than $5 trillion worth of international shipping each year, and which China has no historical ties with. If something isn't done about these islands soon, it could very well lead to... If something isn't done about these islands soon, it could very well lead to World War III.